Ryan. Listen to these words. Quote, I hope I don't regret not getting the shot. That is what one local father told his family just weeks before getting COVID and dying in ICU. 49 year olds, he was healthy, no underlying conditions, but Bryant Rowland was unvaccinated. Now his widow exclusively telling CBS 46 she does not want others to end up like her husband. Sierra Cummings live tonight. Sierra, she has an urgent plea. They did everything under the sun. Um, they did they did everything possible to try and save him. Mary and Brian Rowland had just celebrated their third marriage anniversary when the 49 year old husband tested positive in July. He went to the already overwhelmed Hall County Hospital and never made it out alive, dying just three weeks ago. He did say, who, you know, I, I hope I don't regret having not gotten the vaccine. In ICU for 16 days, nine on a ventilator, the husband was full of regret. Mary too, she tells us she wishes she would have pushed harder for his vaccination. You think he would want people to get vaccinated? Absolutely, he was just a light. Um, anybody that knew him um, just always felt supported. As a teacher, she's watched resistance against a mask. Protests across the state have left her stunned. Keep her mask. Do not look. The mom is urging Metro school districts to fight against COVID misinformation. And now through both grief and anger, she's making vaccine advocacy her full-time mission. Pretty fed up with the statement of it's a personal choice because I'm living proof um, it's not a personal choice. Um, death affects more than just the person who passes away. And your heart just breaks for that widow. Important to know, according to the CDC, 99% of all recent COVID related deaths are among the unvaccinated. So experts warn considering the surge with the Delta variant and new studies coming up coming out about the Lambda variant. Now is not the, the time to delay getting your shot. Live in Atlanta, I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News. Sierra, thank you. And right now,